Major League Baseball and the Players Union have struck a deal, agreeing on a new collective bargaining agreement. The verbal agreement means that there will be 26 consecutive years without a work stoppage since the 1994-95 player strike that canceled the 94 World Series. One provision of the new five-year labor deal pertaining to the use of smokeless tobacco will be felt across the diamond. From this point forward, all new big leaguers making their major league debuts will not be permitted to dip or chew. Players who break the rules are subject to penalty. Current players, on the other hand, will be grandfathered in under the rule, allowed to continue using smokeless tobacco if they so choose. In an email to the Associated Press, Los Angeles Angels pitcher Houston Street stated that he is thankful for the logical ban. He added that he understands the freedom of choice, but choosing to die sooner is not one he supports. The smokeless tobacco ban comes after the death of Baseball Hall of Famer Tony Gwynn in 2014. The former San Diego Padres great who dipped throughout his illustrious career died from salivary gland cancer complications. He was 54 years old. In the wake of Gwynn's death, a number of players, including Washington Nationals pitcher Steven Strasburg, who played under Gwynn at San Diego State University, quit using smokeless tobacco. San Francisco Giants manager Bruce Bochy, a close friend who played with and managed Gwynn, used a hypnotist to quit chewing tobacco after decades of chewing. Though chewing and dipping is a generational staple on and around ball fields and clubhouses across the country, Major League Baseball appears to be catching up with the times. Both Minor League Baseball and the NCAA were out in front of the health hazard, banning smokeless tobacco in the early 90s. A number of big baseball cities including New York, Boston, and San Francisco banned its use in ballparks beginning last year. Democratic Congressman Frank Pallone Jr. of New Jersey called the agreement a victory for the health of new professional players and young players all around the nation who look up to them as role models. For FoxNews.com, I'm Rob Demetrius.